In this video, we are going to finish up section 11.2 with an application problem. So a television camera weighing 120 pounds is supported by a tripod as shown in the figure. It represents the for force exerted on each leg of the tripo tripod as a vector. Okay, so the first thing I really want to do is I want directions. So I'm going to write directional vectors. That's what I want. Um, it's kind of redundant to say that, but the reason I'm saying it is because we're going to apply something to this to make force vectors. All right, so the first directional thing I'm going to do is going down P to Q1. Let's do that. Thankfully, uh, this is nice and straightforward because it's a lot of zeros. So 0 minus 0 is 0. Negative 1 minus 0 is negative 1. And 0 minus 4 is negative 4. I also can do P to Q2. These are just directions. They're just what way is it going and how long? Um, so Q2, I got radical 3 over 2, 1 half, and then negative 4. The zeros make it real easy. PQ3 with their vector, <clears throat> we get negative rad 3 over 2 to 1 half, and then a negative 4. All right. <clears throat> Using this idea, these are the directions, these are the way that the force is being exerted from the camera. The camera is going to force it onto all three tripods, and since... Um, all three have the same length. You can see that. You could check it as well. The same length. Um, and weight is distributed equally. There exists. C such that. Okay, now I'm going to explain this. Now, <clears throat> to get a force from this, so like this one, force 1 is going to be some kind of magnitude times PQ1. That would describe the force, right? The C1 being how much force is going in that direction. F2 says there's a C2 that I can multiply in that direction, and that will give me my force. Same thing with F3, all three tripods, I got some kind of force being put down in that direction. Now, since all three have the same length, PQ1, PQ2, PQ3, all those have the same length, and you can imagine that they're gonna be distributed equally, uh, being three different ways, then that tells me um, that C equals C1, C2, C3. They're all equal. So, uh, we have, so let me write that, we have F1 vector, these are, should be vectors up here by the way, these are forces. The force 1 vector is going to be C times 0, negative 1, uh, negative 4. F2 is that same C times radical 3 over 2, 1 half, and negative 4. And then F3 is equal to that same C times negative rad 3 over 2, 1 half, and a negative 4. Those are my forces. The PQs up there above, those were not the force. Those were the directions. That's the direction the force was going in. So to get the actual force in a direction, we just take that force, whatever it may be, the C1, 2, 3, multiply in the direction. But since they're a tripod and they're all being equally distributed and they have the same length, then we know that all three of those Cs, 1, 2, and 3, are the same. That's why we can write down what we did. So the total force, let's think about that. Total force is what's coming down on the camera. The camera is just going straight down. So we have 0, 0 negative 120 because that's what the camera weighed. Let's go back up and look at that. So this, the weight is 120 pounds. So that means it's gravity is pushing all that down, right? 120 down. There isn't anything in the left or X and Y, horizontal, vertical, just Z direction pushing it down. Now, from the past videos, we know that F, our resultant force, is equal to F1 plus F2 plus F3. They have to be equal. 
So if we look at our third components, let me highlight these. It's negative 4C, negative 4C, and our negative 4C. This is the horizontal component. If I add all of those up, it has to add to 120. So negative 4C minus negative 4C minus negative 4C must be negative 20. That is a negative 12C equals a negative 20, which tells me C is 10. They just wanted the forces in each direction, which now I have. So therefore, these three dots mean therefore, <clears throat> F1, that force, is 10 times 0, negative 1, negative 4. And we just multiply those through 0, negative 10, negative 40. F2 is multiplying that through. I'm going to go ahead and do that for us. 5 root 3, 5, negative 40. And then our last one, F3, is negative 5 root 3, 5, negative 40. And that's the problem. Um, these problems are tough. It took me a while to get pretty decent at this. Um, find your direction. Once you find your direction, put a constant on it like that C, C1, C2, C3. That will then mean that is our force vector, our Fs in this case. Um, these take practice. If you're struggling on the homework questions that associate with this, yeah, you probably will. Um, it, use the solution manual. Email me if you have questions. Um, just keep at it. Don't give up on those. They, they are difficult. They take a while. It's a grass boy.